So in the bottom-up solution, those who write about the bottom-up solution say that poverty isn't going to be solved by handouts from rich nations to poorer nations. Poverty will be solved when those who are in poverty see themselves no longer as victims, but as the solution. How do you see yourselves being the solution to, to poverty? We, we see ourselves as a solution in many aspects. One, uh, I, we believe that uh, people are educated, people have the knowledge, they know how to uh, make their lives improve. People believe that uh, people who live in the slum are not knowledgeable, are not educated, they don't understand the situation they live around, or they assume that uh, they're in whatever the, the area they're living in, they're comfortable in. So the solution in us is to first uh, let everyone know that we understand we're in a slum, but we don't really, really love living in that situation. And internally within the slum, people are making small improvement, uh, trying to do businesses as a, as, a, as a solution for not getting employment. Uh, schools are coming up as a solution for not uh, having quality education provided by the government. We have uh, people who are coming back to run their clinics in the community. So we still have people who feel that they were raised in the community and they are part of it and because of their knowledge and because of their experience that they've gained through growing that in that system, they want to come back and offer a little bit of a solution to every small part that they felt was neglected in the community. And uh, poverty to us is not like a, a stop to life. That's why life still continues and people still have, uh, people get married, people still have their kids, because it's, it's part of us, but it's one thing that internally everyone wants to fight to come out of it. And it's a double solution where, as we look up on the government providing other resources from within as well, we also make ourselves productive in finding local solutions by starting small things that will either sustain us or will be able to help another person get a better opportunity than what we went through at the earlier stage. Just to add on what uh, Brother David has said, uh, as victims of poverty, we are not running away from poverty. We are facing the poverty head on by becoming creative, innovative. There are different things that have come up, like for example, uh, for our community foundation, whereby people believe that people in, sl in slums are not are illiterate. So we are fighting the illiteracy because we believe that uh, the best solution for uh, poverty is having the knowledge and after having the knowledge, you have the information, and then you believe in yourself, then you can do something. If, we, we de we are, you, if you have developed the self-esteem, that you know that I am whom I am now, but I should be somebody else. I am nobody now, but I should be somebody the, the next time. So we are nurturing that, and that also help in fighting the poverty. Uh, another thing, uh, we've not relaxed, and we are not on the blame game, whereby you say, oh, we are this way because of so-and-so, or, uh, or the government or who and who, but now we are facing the challenges head on, not uh, focusing on who has caused it, by coming up with different ideologies, putting them together as youths and as, as members of this uh, Oruma community and getting the best solution for our problems locally. Okay, I think we are the people, we are the problem and we have solution by ourselves. Because uh, we are raised here, we know each and every challenge that we face and we have solution to tackle. We have a way to tackle the, the challenges that we face. Like uh, around we have youth groups doing other jobs like uh, they are collecting garbage and that's the, the, they initiate uh, a uh, project that they can sustain their life through. Even us like uh, for Aha here, as you can see most of us we are young people and we are growing together. We are helping the community to come out from the, the poverty, like, uh, like we are offering education. And uh, we believe that education, info, information are the power. Those are the tools that we can fight uh, the poverty with. If you have knowledge and you have information, you are done. Yeah.